our today's topic is classification of tridophytes. The term tridophytes is derived from two words, jaren meaning feather and phyton meaning plant. The tridophytes are the plants with feather-like leaves. Their first traces were recognized in the Silurian period of the late Paleozoic age. Tridophytes occupy a transitional position between bryophytes and spermatophytes. Since a long time, vascular plants are usually divided into tridophyta and spermatophyta. This classification was based on the assumption that tridophyta lack the seeds while spermatophyta produced seeds. But the discovery of tridophytes, for example seed bearing ferns, broke down this artificial classification. In 1935, Sinner introduced term tracheophyta to include all vascular plants. Tracheophyta are further divided into four groups, Silopsida, Lycopsida, Sphenopsida and Charopsida. But it is not certain whether these all uh, like um, uh, Silopsida, Lycopsida, Sphenopsida and Charopsida are divisions or classes. In 1953, Hopped considered them as classes in the division uh, tracheophyte, while Zimmerman uh, in 1930, Arnold 1947, uh, Wardler 1952 regard them as divisions. According to recommend, uh, recommendation of ICBN, International Code of Botanical Nomenclature, in 1952, the name of the division should end in the suffix of phyta and the subdivision should end in the opsida. On the basis, Varla 1955 divided tridophytes into four divisions. Then modern botanists such as Smith in 1955, Bold 1957, Benson 1957, Zimmerman 1959, Conquest 1960 and Takhtajan 1964 have dropped the term tracheophyta as taxon and raising the different groups of lower vascular plants themselves to division level. In a fairly complete and present most accepted system of classification of vascular plants was drug. Uh, and that was based on Smith, Bold, Benson, Zimmerman, Congress and Taktajan. According to this classification, means this is the complete and the present most accepted system of classification of vascular plants. So, according to this classification, tridophytes uh, are divided into four divisions. These four divisions are spinophyta and filicophyta. Division silophyta having two classes. Class 1, Silophytopsida, and class 2, Silotopsida. Class Silophytopsida having one order, Silophytales, and class uh, Silotopsida having one order, uh, Silotales. Then Lycophyta. Lycophyta driven having two classes, E. Legulopsida and Legulopsida. Class E. Legulopsida having one order, Lycopodiales, and class uh, Ligulopsida having four orders order one sleginales, lepidodendrils, isoetials, and pleuromeals. Sphenophyta uh, reason having two classes again class first, sphenophyllopsida, and class second, uh, chamopsida. Sphenophyllopsida having one order, sphenophyllales, and class. Camupsida having three orders, Camutales, uh, Hyneales, uh, and Equisitales. Last reason, Filicopsida, classes of uh, division of ferns, having four classes. Class first, Primophilicopsida. Class second, uh, Eusoprangiopsida. Third, Protolaptosprangiopsida. And fourth, Lepito, uh, sorry, Lepto. Subtangiopsida. Class first having two order. First is Cladoxyglales and second is uh, Conimo uh, Teridales. 
Then second class, use prangiopsida having two order of glucosils and uh, meratiels. Class third, one order osmundiels and last class. Lepidus prangiopsida having three order filiciles, marsiliales, and salvinales. Now I will tell you some common features of all four dwisins. First, we'll start with the dwisin Xylophyta. Dwisin Xylophyta, here the plant body is rootless sporophyte that uh, differentiated into subterranean rhizome and aerial erect system, as you can see here uh, in the case of uh, uh, Xylotum, a member of. Uh, Dwisin Xylophyta. You can see here the aerial uh, shoot system and rhizome. Branching is dichotomous in both subterranean rhizome and aerial shoot. Subterranean means underground. So you can see here dichotomous branching in the case of aerial shoot system and also in rhizome. Rhizoids born on rhizome and uh, their function uh, is. Uh, to absorb water and nutrients from the soil. Leaves often absent in the in this prison xylophyta or if present they are spirally arranged and scale like. For example in the case of uh, xylotum here leaves are scale like or uh, leaf like appendages in the case of Mercitaris. Then vascular tissues. In this case vascular tissues is of primitive type. Primitive type means very simple cylindrical protosteel with annular or spiral tracheids. Scandry growth absent here. Sporangia are born at the apex of the aerial shoot. Sporangia always bearing the same type of uh, uh, spores that is um, uh, uh, homosporous. Gametophyte is known only in Xylotum and Tmesiteris. Xylotum is a fossil and Tmesis terrace is a living genera, while uh, uh, unknown in other uh, xylophytes. Uh, gametophyte is cylindrical or branched, subterranean, and colorless. Sex organs are partially embedded in the prothallus. Prothallus is, means gametophyte. Enterocytes are spirally coiled and multiflagellate. Suprangia so, uh, are either solitary. In the case of uh, Rhinia, Rhinia is a fossil uh, tridophyte or in groups and terminal in position, right? But uh, there was nothing like uh, that of uh, sporophyll. Next is Lycophyta. Lycophyta include both fossil and living tridophytes. Fossil, uh, example, Lepidodendron and uh, living tridophytes, for example, Lycopodium, then uh, Phyloglosum and uh, Isoids. Stylite and Slaginilla. Plant body here is also sporophytic and can be differentiated into root, stem, and leaves. As you can see uh, here, this is an example of Lycopodium. So, this is a body of Lycopodium. And uh, uh, you can see here, body is well differentiated into root, stem, and leaves. Leaves are small, microphilus. As you can see here, and this second diagram is showing leaf uh, arrangement and leaf forms in different species of Lycopodium. So you can see here, you can notice leaves are microphyllous. Very simple with single mid vein. Uh, they are usually spirally raised, sometime in opposite fashion or even in walls. In some cases, the leaves are uh, ligulate, for example, in the case of Slaginilla, means here a ligule is present at the base of each leaf. Then vascular tissues may be either in the form of plactosteel, siphonosteel, or sometimes even polysteel. Means leaf caps are absent here in this case. Sporophylls are loosely arranged or aggregated. When aggregated, it forms strobilis or cone. Sporophyll means a leaf that produces spores or spore producing structures called sapentia. Right? So uh, um, some members uh, are homosporous. For example, lycopodium while other are heterosporous, uh, example Stryginella. Heterosporous form have uh, uh, endosporous gametophyte, while in homosporous form, gametophyte is exosporous. Anterozoids are biflagellate or multiflagellate. Scandry growth doesn't take place, except in isoids. Next is Sphenophyta. 
Sphenophyta include both fossil, fossil plants as well as uh, living and um, uh, it is uh, represented by one living genus that is equisetum and about 18 extinct form. Here the body is sporophytic. You can see here this is the equisetum. So body is sporophytic and can be differentiated into root, stem and leaves. The stem is majority uh, of the forms is long, jointed or articulated and is ribbed. Ribbed means having ridges and grooves. I can see here. Uh, uh, you can see here ridges and grooves in the case of um, equisetum. So stem is divisible into nodes and internodes. I can see here nodes and internodes and is dwelled as upright aerial branches and uh, means uh, uh, these aerial branches dwell from underground creeping rhizome. Leaves are thin, small, scaly brown and are arranged in transverse pore at the nodes of the aerial branches. Branches also dwell in walls from the axle of the scaly leaves. As the foliage leaves are reduced to scale, the process of photosynthesis is taken up by the stem and hence it becomes green. Stem has a solid protostyle or uh, uh, medulated protostyle, for example, in the case of equisetum. So, prangia are born uh, on specialized appendices called prangiophore. Uh, uh, the whole structure resembling uh, the strobilis, but not homologous with strobilis. So, prangia are developed at the apex of the fertile branches uh, in both forming compact cone. Most of the members are homosporous, but some fossil forms are heterosporous. Gametophyte means prothelii, may be monoecious or dioecious, and uh, enterozoids are large and multiflagellate. An embryo is without suspensor and is exosporic in nature. Last reason is pterophyta. Pterophyta includes the plants which are commonly known as ferns. Right? Uh, you can see here, this is a uh, um, plant that is terrace means this diagram showing morphology of terrace its common name is break fern so it is uh, represented by about 300 genera and more than 10,000 species they occur in all types of habitats majority of the ferns are terrestrial and prefer to grow in moist and shady places some are aquatic like azola sylvinia marsilia some are xerophytic also like adiantum majority of the members except some tree ferns uh, have short and stout rhizome and rhizome may be creeping upright or growing above the soil. Leaves are large and may be simple. Simple in the case of ophioglossum or pinnately compound. Uh, for example, majority of the ferns uh, having uh, compound, pinnately compound leaves. For example, teridium, marsilia, adiantum, etc and uh, described as fronds. So, uh, I'll show you the picture once again. So, this is pinnately compound leaf of terrace. And you can see here different parts like this is rachis part, stipe, pinna and whole leaf is called front. Right? So, um, young fronds are sarcinately coiled. Then, Leaves are extipulate uh, and while stipulate in some other groups, vascular cylinders vary from protostyle to complicated uh, type of uh, siphonostyle, serenostyle, dictyostyle, polystyle are also found in some cases. Vegetative reproduction here takes place by fragmentation, uh, for example, in the case of adiantum and um, pteridium, also by stem tubers in the case of marsilia, then ad adventitious buds. Uh, by apogamy also, for example, in Marsilia. Suprangia so, arise from placenta, means a swollen cushion of cells, in groups called, group of suprangia so, called sorai. So, sorai dwell on the margin of the abaxial surface of the leaves uh, or leaflet. And you can see here, in the case of terrace, uh, these are uh, sorai present on the uh, uh, lower surface of the leaf, right? So, suprangia uh, means present in groups. So, sorai dwell on the margin. You can see here, margin of the means of axial surface or lower surface of the leaves. Sorai are protected by true endusium. You can see here, this is true endusium or 
falsi.